Hi guys, hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Louisa, I post lifestyle, personal and vlog content including my own self-care and mental health tips. I'm excited for you to join, I also study business. If you're new, hi, I'm Louisa. Today is Thursday, this video is about how to get through study season, exam season, how to deal with stress, pressure, feeling overwhelmed. If you're into that, you came to the right video, feel free to grab yourself a drink. I was busy with university exams and assignments. I just finished them. I finished all my uni exams and assignments of this year, which is good. So that's also why I'm filming today. I also got my notes with me. Definitely hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications, especially for more amazing content. I'll be including my phone videos of what I got up to in London during the spring break, including self-care dates, etc., to give some inspiration went to cafes self-care dates met up with a friend a few times which is good did some cycling it was my first time using self-care is imperative it's important for you especially during exam season i also just cleaned my room it did take me some time to set this up but it's okay I'm going to be talking about how to deal with stress and pressure, giving you guys tips on study motivation. Some of these tips you may have heard before. By incorporating them, they have helped me. I did four exams and two assignments. I am open in the future of filming how I became a failing business student, how I had bad grades. But it's okay because everyone goes through failure, it's inevitable. How I became a failing business university student to now how I'm getting much better, very good grades. I'm open to filming that video in the future once I open my results. So yeah, just my study tips, how I have progressed, how I've taken my studies a lot more seriously. As you guys have seen in my university vlogs, I've been going to pretty much most of my lectures, waking up early. Very different, a big contrast to when I was in first year you can see how I was able to motivate myself or just push myself to get through this especially since there was a tough situation I encountered I went through it was to do with a house scam and I also filmed a story time on that as well so that also kind of helped motivate me so I'm definitely open to filming that video and these tips would be linked to that as well but this is basically about how to get through study exam season and once you finish it just feels so good it's just good that you can also focus on other things or relax etc. Yesterday I had my last exam. If you are interested in what I study, the modules I do, the ones I took this spring term were operations management, digital marketing which I chose, entrepreneurship which I also chose, human resource management and motivation and performance. It feels good to have finished all modules but before I started the exams of this spring term I did feel overwhelmed. I felt stress and pressure which is very normal especially if you want to do well and that can also be helpful and beneficial because that actually pushes you to do well. I realised that when I was more worried about studying I tended to do my much better grades but I don't want to talk about toxic study productivity and working out of it sometimes is effective but it's not super healthy if you're like worried or doubting yourself. I did feel stressed and overwhelmed before doing exams. Now that I finished I feel better about filming and sharing my tips so let's get right into it. So my first tip what really helps for me is getting out of the house, going out, studying in a cafe or library. I like to go to, if you're on a budget, go to cafes maybe once a week or going to the library is good. And I will also provide some valuable recommendations. They can enhance productivity and also cafe hopping is good. I just feel like I could study at home, but especially if you live with other people and there are distractions, it's very good and helpful to study in a cafe, get a drink, just change the atmosphere. That's what works for me personally and that's what helps me get through this uni year. 
I like to go to central London. There's this place. This is actually a free cafe. It's a cafe where you don't actually need to buy a drink. And I discovered this place, Black Sheep Coffee, near London Liverpool Street Station. And I went there a couple of times, several times, mainly to do studying. I haven't done editing there yet, but I am going to now that I've finished my studying and I can just focus on my content, which is great. I've been missing creating content and posting. I need to get my consistency up. I know I have been lacking consistency since I've been busy with studying and uni is a lot but I'm really glad that now I have this summer break I can just focus on other things it's a relief going out to cafes leaving house I like to go out at least I'd say once or twice a week just going out to London getting out really helps my second tip on how to get through study exam season how to deal with stress and pressure is rewarding yourself that helped me get through study season. So for example, it could be a self-care date, good food, coffee, cycling also helped. There was a day where I just did not feel like studying. Like sometimes you will have those days where you just can't be bothered. You just wanna watch YouTube or watch TV or just procrastinate. It's completely normal. I would just force myself to do at least 30 minutes. If I just didn't feel like doing it, but I had to, you know, If I just couldn't study at home, I would just force myself to go out. And I also tried the Uber bike and that helped me get through the study season. Like just doing things to de-stress, rewarding yourself really helps. That also helps enhance your motivation. leaving house getting out rewarding yourself i'm also into doing like self-care date instagram reels and also socializing meeting up with a friend that also helps with being productive other than going out self-care dates treating yourself to a nice drink or food i would reward myself with watching youtube watching videos that i wanted to watch after a day of studying I actually don't watch TV, I watch YouTube. Or like just go on social media for a bit. Haven't really had much time to check and endlessly scroll, which isn't good for your mental health. Even if you do, it's good to control that and have self-discipline. I'd force myself to study and then after that, I would treat myself to watching YouTube and it would feel more satisfying that way. And rewarding yourself is good. Feel free to check out my Instagram at Louisa Love Petty. Link is in the description box below. I just post lifestyle, food, travel, Instagram reels, my other tip is also having a sense of morning routine help so like waking up earlier I try to wake up before 8 30 a.m in the morning I like to stick to 8 find out a time that works for you it doesn't have to be super early not every single day I got to wake up before the time I wanted to when I did I used to feel damn you know when you just wake up late sometimes you just feel like bad also if the weather was good most days i would go out for an outside walk i like going on dog walks even though sometimes i do lose patience with my baby dog waking up earlier going out for an outside walk helps as well waking up earlier is really good for you it gives you more time to do the things that you want to do that you've got to do during the day for me personally 8 a.m works for me because it's realistic it's not extremely early but it's also a good time as well especially on a day when I had an exam or test I would try and wake up at 8 normally the exam and test would start at 11 a.m so it would give me more time in the morning to go yeah. for a walk grab a coffee make myself a coffee and then after going for a walk I'd like to treat myself to coffee to give me energy for the day and it feels good having that morning routine so that's what works for me exercise is good if you have time to go to the gym if you're into going to the gym during study season definitely do that personally I actually did have have enough time to go to the gym because it was quite intense I had four exams and two big assignments and they were all worth 70% of each module but also it doesn't have to be going to the gym it could be yoga pilates I actually never tried pilates but I'd be interested in doing that going out for a walk is like the basic minimum it's good for you it really helps me when I don't go to the gym or I don't do a proper intense workout it's good for exam study season I know it's a very basic and simple tip that's what works for me and then 
treating myself to coffee afterwards that's what helped and going out as well here and there it's good especially if you live maybe in a hectic household even if you live by yourself which is oh my god i am so i don't want to say jealous but i'd love to live by myself in the future i can envision that i've got the apartment on my vision board even if you live by yourself it's also still important to get out of the house get out of where you're living I try not to drink coffee every single day but I just love coffee. If I really needed the energy, like I had an intense day of studying, I would allow myself two cups of coffee, like to drink coffee in the morning or early afternoon. It's all relative to you, you know. My next tip, so these are more practical tips that are more related to studying as opposed to self-care. Self-care is very important, I'm a big advocate. I promote self-care strongly rewarding yourself, getting out of the house, studying in cafes and also socialising helps. I didn't socialise so much but I did try and make an effort to meet up with people that I haven't seen in a long time which was great, it actually definitely helped and also rewarding yourself, it gives you something to look forward to which is good which will help you get through the study season. So this is what helps me with my own productivity, having to-do lists, daily ones on my phone so that would make sure, that would keep me accountable, that would make sure Sure, I would study, I would have to-do lists on each day where I would track my productivity. I actually used to have them on paper, like write them down. I prefer to have them on my phone. What works for you? Find out what works for you. I want to let you guys know this is also what helped me. It gets better once you do your first exam, once you submit your first assignment. It gets better and better because you're ticking it off like you have less to do as you progress if you have anxiety once you do your first exam or first assignment you are dealing with your anxiety this is what helped and it gets better along the way when i did the exams i was actually worried about were strategic management it was a two hour timed online exam and the operations management test all my exams were online i've come across a lot of people i think mainly guys that said that business is easy i don't like to think that way because that would make me underestimate it and then I would not study and I would procrastinate. I wouldn't say that business is extremely hard, it really depends. There have been a lot of people saying that business is easy. If you really want to do well in your studies, I don't recommend listening to those people. That's from my own experience because when I listened to those people, I got lazy with my studying and that was my mistake. you will come across people that maybe try to distract you or will tell you that this subject is easy you don't need to study that much but you don't know what they've been through i never studied a level business before so it is different don't listen to people that say that this subject is easy i got away with studying this much just focus on your own studying and do the best that you can whilst also treating yourself looking after yourself one of the main reasons why i failed three modules during my first year but i'm really glad 
glad that I'm back up and I finished my second year. I have a study schedule. I could show you my timetable. So I made it on Canva. So this is the month of April. I would use highlighter, I know, organized. And then this was May. This could be study motivation, study inspiration as well. And I had my tests and assignments on the dates that they were on. And then I would tick each one off and I would track how much I studied and what subjects I covered, what modules I covered on each day. So this looks very full. So my first test was on 29th of April and my last test was literally yesterday, 15th of May. So having a study schedule, some sort of study timetable schedule, study tracker, to-do list helps, keeps you organised. Okay, I just changed the lighting, just grabbed myself some more water to keep myself hydrated you know what i actually feel good talking to the camera that's cool so back to the tips that also helps like rewarding yourself and saving yourself for treat after you do something productive having a study schedule timetable helps i use highlighters as well i'm more of a visual person so having highlighters taking down notes helped knowing that everyone that wants to do well goes through it and knowing that you're not alone actually feels good it feels better being able to have people that you can relate to and talk to so that's what helped me personally get through study season if you can afford it traveling definitely helps with getting through the uni year if you guys live in the uk staying in london or staying in the uk for too long it just drives you crazy it's good that if you can go on a trip Even if it's a solo trip, I love solo traveling. I went to Amsterdam. My vlog would be out by the time you're watching this. And that also helps get through the study season. Even if you're on a budget, just going out to London, going to a cafe, just getting out of the house really helps with your mental health. traveling is good what works for me personally is tracking how much i studied each day and also in the first few weeks of study season i didn't study every single day which is completely okay i made this commitment to myself to study five times a week so monday to friday you know like a normal full-time job force myself to stick to that routine and then weekends i don't study at all i take a break which is good as it got closer to study season when it got a bit more intense I would actually study six times a week and then every single day if you can study every single day if you want to there was one point where I kind of got sick and tired of studying because studying every single day it can lead to burnout or you just get bored of the studying bored of the content Finding a routine and a schedule that works for you personally is helpful. What worked for me was studying five times a week, just building it up from there. If I needed to study every single day, studying during the day, this also links back to waking up early. I would try and study, I would try and start as early as 10 a.m. Even though I didn't stick to that every single day, that was a good time for me to start. And sometimes I would be studying all day, but obviously with breaks, like I wouldn't study all at once. I would also finish in the evening most of the days, but I would take breaks as well. Breaks are needed, important. This is another tip that is very helpful, especially if you're struggling with motivation. I've been there before. There are some modules where I was just like, I just don't want to study. I don't want to do this assignment. Doing an assignment properly without chat GPT or AI takes long. And I know a lot of people use chat GPT. I'm not gonna to talk too much about that. It is useful to an extent. It makes things a lot easier, which is good. I had two big assignments and they were all worth 70% of the module. So this exam season was quite important. There were times where I was like, I don't want to study. I don't want to do this assignment, but I knew I had to. One of those things where you just don't want to do it. It's one of those things where you have no choice but to do it. What I would do is Pomodoro is helpful for that. So that way you don't feel guilty for not doing it. You've done something productive 
productive that contributes to the assignment or studying but you're not burning yourself out this is a very common technique so what works for me is doing 30 minutes plus in one go taking a break and maybe just not studying at all for the day sometimes you go through these phases where you just can't be bothered that's what works for me and then actually you kind of get carried away with it and you get stuck into it it's mainly the fear of starting but once you get into it you actually work on it longer than you expected before doing the pomodoro technique if you're really struggling with motivation which is a very common thing i've struggled with it as well even yesterday i struggled at the start with the motivation and performance test it's one of those things where you just force yourself to do it self-discipline overcomes motivation but also rewarding yourself meeting up with your friend after you do this daunting task that's what helps me get through things and that's what helps me maintain my productivity and then when I get my reward I feel a sense of satisfaction because I felt like I deserved it so that's really helpful and I got through study season doing the pomodoro technique like doing 20 minutes 30 minutes one hour and a go really depends even just 10 minutes without any distractions helps when you don't feel like studying this helps when i don't feel like studying but i know i have to like i have no choice this is what helps me build self-discipline also this helps overcome procrastination having self-discipline self-control so my next tip is this is also linked to having self-discipline and self-control with studying because obviously we are all humans obviously some days we're just not going to feel like doing it in terms of distractions putting your phone away like putting it in a different room for me personally i know i will get distracted and also removing social media apps on my phone especially instagram it's so addictive youtube i find more helpful i don't find it super addictive and it's actually valuable It's such a distraction, so eliminating that helped me get through the study season and study more effectively. That's also what helped me get better grades, much better grades. So putting your phone away, putting it on airplane mode or giving it to someone so that way you're forced not to go on your phone. I would put my phone on airplane mode or just put it in a different room or if I was in a cafe if I was out studying I would just put it on airplane mode and put it in my bag rather than have it next to my laptop whilst I was studying sometimes I would check but I would try and have that self-discipline your future self will thank you I had the self-discipline it's all worth it in the end I like to play morning coffee music on my phone I really like it it helps me feel relaxed and it actually helps me focus more and helps me study for a longer period of time when I have background instrumental music it's all about also knowing what works for you just having study coffee music in the background find what works for you like having go-to songs what helped me get through the study season this is also cliche having long-term goals like knowing where you're going and being motivated why are you studying is it because you want to graduate you want to get a degree different reasons you know you just want to finish uni that's what helped me and also having a vision board i was quite reluctant about showing my vision board on the internet because it's quite a personal thing i just don't want to live my life in fear anymore like i don't think there's any harm in me showing my vision board i pray to god so he protects me as well i know he has my back that's what helped me get through the study season as well i will show my vision board also for inspiration i have posted it online if there's anyone that is wishing bad upon me or has any evil or jealous energy any negative energy is honestly their problem god is more powerful and i can't let that stop me from posting what i want online i'll show my vision board that i made at the beginning of 2024 having a vision board really helps you get through study season and just knowing your long-term goals i actually put graduation on my vision board and i know i'm actually closer to graduating vision boards actually work they're so effective and i had my vision board on my laptop lock screen i was forced to see it a lot which is good like when i open my laptop to study that's what helped me get through study season vision boards are amazing they're magical it helps reprogram and positively influence your subconscious mind 
and it helps you become closer to your goals this is my vision board it took some time i made it on canva and i used some images from pinterest having vision boards really help with productivity and helping you with motivation and laziness and procrastination because don't worry i've been there before there are some days where i just did not feel like studying but putting the graduation on my vision board helped me and also i have my youtube goals on there and i also like to look at other people's vision boards as well this is the graduation i got the youtube 100k subscriber plaque which i know is a long way away right now but i'm delusional oh my god i'm actually gonna get emotional one day when i reach a hundred thousand subscribers and i'm watching this video i'm going to be yeah I can feel it. Having a vision board really helps and like having powerful affirmations like I am successful, I attract positive healthy relationships, I'm healthy, wealthy and happy, I attract wealth, I attract money. That helps you know even if that's not your current reality right now it really helps. So yeah having a uni vision board, study vision board that helps. If you're not into that just having a mood board like saving a couple of images, do whatever feels right for you and what what makes you become more motivated this vision board actually helped me get through the study season because i had some university inspo so yeah having a long-term goal that helps you get through study season for me personally my goal is graduation finishing uni and getting a degree and then just moving on to life afterwards yeah that's my motivation to study even on days when i just don't feel like it and it's also okay to take rests like don't feel guilty sometimes i personally feel guilty if i take a day off which i know isn't good but it's okay to take days off we need to recharge we're humans we are not meant to be productive all the time on monday i took a big fat break and i had to sleep in i had a test on wednesday and i went out I went to uni on sunday and then i went out to london my body was absolutely time and i was also working on an assignment some days it's good to take a break just taking days off is very helpful and also in relation to breaks when it comes to extensions i'm not sure if every university has this option at roy holloway uni we have four extensions that we can use each year i used two if you need to use them i'm gonna save some of my study tips for the next video but i'll just share this tip applying for an extension helped me get a better helped me do my assignment to the best that i could if you've got extensions left and it's study season you've got exams during second year like the exams they were less spread out they were more close together that's why i felt kind of stressed and overwhelmed having to manage the time and self-discipline if you have options for extensions use them that definitely helps this was something that's actually worked for me when I was doing GCSEs. This works for me personally. Having aesthetic, cute stationery and writing down notes on paper, that helps. I'll show you guys a few of the stationery I have. I didn't really buy a lot of stationery because I don't really need it. Because you know when you're in uni, you normally study on your laptop. Like you don't even need pens or paper. But sometimes it does. It actually does help. Especially if you do accounting. I was writing down accounting questions, operations management formulas, accounting formulas, practice questions. I needed pen and paper and just having cute stationery helped with that. I actually enjoyed accounting more than I did in first year and even with operations management like I found the operations management exam not hard that was one of the exams I was worried about and even with strategic management I was worried about that because that was a timed exam but once you do it you overcome your fear and your anxiety it feels better you get through it so operations management and accounting if you do anything to do with accounting or maths having stationery helps having cute aesthetic stationery actually can help with motivation instead of just doing all your uni work on your laptop but if that works for you that's completely okay like keep doing that for me personally i needed to write down a few notes and have some stationery romanticizes your studying in a way some people may not like temu it's okay i got this book from temu i like it and then i got this book from amazon they were affordable And I also got this pencil case, pink one from Temu, and I got highlighters, got these highlighters as well. I use them for my notes and for my study timetable. These stationery kind of helped me get through study season. 
I literally used pretty much all of the pages for like planning my assignments. My lecture notes, I would type it in my laptop. I wouldn't do it on my notes because that's too much. I would use these notebooks for like revision notes or planning assignments. And then I'll show you guys. I didn't use this book much because I was using this book, but I will save this for next year. I use this. This is what I use to plan my digital marketing assignment. So like the plan, the structure. Digital marketing actually wasn't really my favourite model but I enjoyed some aspects of it so I did it based on Lavender Alien she's like one of my favorite content creators and youtubers I did a case study I used her as the human protagonist I like her content she's a source of inspiration I basically did a case study based on her journey how she became viral how she grew her brand why she started her YouTube channel I could also relate to her story I also did my other digital marketing assignment on a boba tea social media campaign if your assignments lets you be creative that also helps you're doing something that you want to do you know so that also helps for my revision notes I'll show you this is for my strategic management these are the notes I have having neat notes as well like one minute so that's strategic management motivation performance and then HRM just show you this is kind of a little bit like a stationary hole. I didn't buy a lot of stationery, but it's okay. Especially if you have your laptop, you don't really need that much stationery. But having some stationery helps with the study motivation. And also having neat aesthetic notes definitely helped me study. So, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Those are my personal tips on how to get through study season, exam season, and what helped me personally. Now I'm back to creating content, editing, posting. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these tips. I hope you found them helpful. It's great to get through the study and exam season. It feels good as well. And if you would like me to do more study tip videos like uni tip videos let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for your support i really appreciate it subscribe turn on your post notifications especially for more amazing content and i'm just so happy that i've done this study exam season and i've overcome my self-doubt and all the tough times especially that house scam i'm glad i didn't let that stop me from going to uni and also finishing my studies for this year so yeah and and I'm also going to continue vlogging and I'm also excited for the travel. I'm sending you lots of love and I'll see you in my next video.